From LA Late News headquarters in Santa Monica, this is the Midday Report on LA Late. It's a big noon time here on LLA with incredible details about your fourth stimulus check update of 2021 this Saturday. We have incredible details about this fourth stimulus check that the president wants you to have, the Democrats in the House want you to have, the senators, Democrats want you to have, and I want you to have as well. We'll be going over the monthly stimulus check and the incredible breaking news as the president inks a major deal, signs into law a major facet for the fourth stimulus package yesterday. Then we'll be turning to fifth stimulus that raises your benefits up but has incredible surprises to it. Yes, there will be a fifth stimulus check. Second, there will be an additional $1 billion allocated to something to pass fifth stimulus easier. And number three, there will potentially be a massive inflationary spike when they apply the benchmark to your benefits. Oh boy, it's getting excited here on Noontime L8. Then in the middle of this recording, we go over the big money you can get, thousands of dollars across the board. It's a big noon time. I'm here, you're here. Let's get to the wonderful news starting right here, direct from Santa Monica. Good noon time, everybody. How are you doing? Hope you're having a beautiful Saturday. Thank you for joining me on a Saturday noontime here direct from Santa Monica. Hope the weather is good where you are. Drop in the comments how the weather is and where you're tuning in from. It's clearly very sunny today in Southern California. And if you're watching this video out of order, there is a power outage in Southern California, which caused a lot of the shows today to be in different time slots. In this fourth stimulus check update of 2021, we're going to go over that monthly stimulus check that the Democrats want you to have, and I'll have all the credible details for you. And the breaking news, as the president signs into law a major anchor legislation for four stimulus. Then we turn to fifth stimulus that had not one, but four major surprises, and including a stimulus check, but really the benefits being lifted up a lot. And then in the middle of this recording, we go over the thousands of dollars you can get right now. This is Alan Light. The only 24-hour day, seven days a week financial news channel. Live generally in the morning and taped in the afternoons, except when there's outages. So subscribe. I don't want you to miss a single video across the board. 400,000 subscribers, a YouTube record in one year. Next stop, 1 million. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like this video. Two, 3,000 likes. It really helps in the algorithm ranking. And consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Let's get into that monthly stimulus check with analysis of the House bill and the Senate proposal. The House bill provides a monthly stimulus check for the remainder of the pandemic plus one year. The Senate proposal provides a stimulus check from July to December. If you're on the live chat, get ready to vote House or Senate and tell me where you're watching from. But first, let's go over the monthly payouts. House bill, $2,000 first month, $1,000 thereafter. Senate proposal, an amount an unknown, but word on the street is it's this. Wow. $2,000 a month over six months, $12,000. Or $1,400 a month over six months, $8,400. Yeah, there you go. That is exciting. That is per person. But there's macroeconomic factors that may modify the House bill. Many legislators and insiders believe that the bill will get reduced to just one year because the pandemic may be viewed over. That would be 12 checks over 12 months, which amounts to $13,000 from the House versus this over six months from the Senate. <laughs> I think you have an opinion now. Jump in the live chats. House or Senate? House or Senate? Vote right now. I want to hear who you're voting for. And tell me where you're tuning in from and how's the weather. All right. Let's go over the other details about that four stimulus you need to know starting right now. The Democrats want the fourth stimulus check to be paid out to the same people who got the third stimulus check. Pretty easy. So the fourth stimulus check would go to single individuals who make $75,000 or less. The fourth stimulus check would go to married couples who make $150,000 or less. Double it. 
the four stimulus check would go to households of four or less, quadruple it, and the four stimulus check would go to beneficiaries. Yes, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, veterans benefits, SSA, survivor benefits, and more. The four stimulus check would not come in waves because it's not a waveable check, so don't wave at it. It won't wave back. Hi, check. No, it's not, not going to work. <laughs> The forced stimulus check is not income, so it's not taxable. And, but the Democrats want to ensure that everyone gets the same forced stimulus check. Adult dependents, minor dependents, everyone across the board. And finally, the Democrats represent that the forced stimulus vote would end by July 4th. That means that you would get a forced stimulus check in the month of July for the month of July. In the month of August, for the month of August. And there you go. That is the first of three parts of your fourth stimulus check update of 2021 in today's extended noontime broadcast. Yes, I got a lot of breaking news in today's broadcast, so it's going to be a little bit longer. But here's a preview of the second half of the video. Fifth stimulus. Fifth stimulus will not only now surprise a lot of people with a fifth stimulus check, but also provide with a lift of your beneficiary benefits because of a new benchmark, inflation, that we learned a lot about on Thursday from the Consumer Price Index number for the month of May. Those breaking details coming up in the second half of this video. In addition, an additional $1 billion being dedicated by the president to the benefit system. Oh boy, it's getting exciting. Stay with me. That's in the second half of this video. Now let's turn to some big money. Because if you're new to this channel, let me tell you what I do on this channel. I get people money. We don't track checks. We cash checks. When as soon as third stimulus passed, I said, you're going to get a stimulus check of $1,400, but you're also going to be eligible for five, ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars money right now, not five weeks from now, not five months from now. Well, guess what? We're getting that money right now. $350 billion is landing your city, counties, and states from the federal government this last week and next week for you. So go get it. It is for you. Well, not all for you. Come on. Don't be so greedy. <clears throat> this is not the Powerball or, or Mega Millions. <laughs> I got to share. It's, you know, $350 billion to share with other people. So <laughs> let's go over the incredible details. It is money for rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, and homeowners' utilities. I want you to get that money, but first I want you to get a pen and paper ready and a Crayola crown if it's pink. Got to match the shirt. Because <laughs> I have a lot of money to get you in this video. Stay to the very end. We're getting a lot of money in this video. But first, I want to go over eligibility. You're going to reach out to different places I'm going to show you in a second, and different places have different eligibility. So one may say yes, another may say no. Don't worry if you get a no. Go to the next one till you get a yes. They also have their own pots of money. All right, you got that pen and paper ready? Here we go. You're going to reach out to City Hall, City Housing Authority, County Hall, County Housing Authority, State Hall, State Housing Authority. The key word you're going to say is rent assistance because of COVID or mortgage assistance because of COVID. You're not going to say words that they don't understand like stimulus or um, upside down pineapple cake. <laughs> They'll say, delicious, but we don't have that, sir. Move to the next place. <laughs> you got to say the correct words. And congratulations to Tim and Linda who got this money for rent and utilities the last few days. $5,000 for rent, four to six months of rent. It's wonderful. And if you've gotten even a penny from this channel, let alone up to 75000 because I've gotten people the whole realm of money on this channel, drop in the comments because it inspires other viewers. We got inspired on Monday on Morning Delight as one viewer said, thank you, I got $560 a month for SNAP. That's six to $7,000 a year. Wow, let's get to that SNAP right now. And if you have an inspirational story, jump into the chat right now or in the comments and send it, post it as well. Snap has been the, the success story of this channel. It What is Snap? How do you get it? And where do you get it? Let's go over the details. It is money for food. How do you get it? Department of Agriculture. Reach out to Department of Agriculture to get this money. How much does it pay? A fortune. Upwards of $16,000 now from uh, the federal government be, for a family of four in Hawaii. Why so much money? Because of two wonderful executive orders. One from Trump and one from Biden that raise your benefits up 15%. It's wonderful. So there you go. Snap, about $15,000, $16,000 a year for a family four in Hawaii, or $7,000 for that one viewer, or $5,000 for rent that Tim and Linda got. We're killing it, and we are only 10 minutes of this video. I got more money for you right now. 
and it is $5,000. The federal government has identified states as overpaying you unemployment assistance due to no computer, no, no error of your own, due to a state computer error. And then the states asked you to return the money back to them. How rude. <laughs> and you did. Well, the federal government said, yeah, it was rude. It's your money to keep. <laughs> So the federal government has ordered the states to return the money back to you. It said it was, the federal government says it wasn't your fault. The states had bad computers. Have them go fix their computers and send the check back to you. I love it. So now you're getting back that money, and one viewer got $5,000 from it. How do you get it? On the account you have on file with your unemployment department. When? Reach out to your respective state for routing times. Which brings us to our next pot of money. And Cod got it. Margaret got it. Another viewer got it. What is it? It's wonderful. It is the taxes you pay to IRS on that 2020 return for unemployment assistance. It's coming back. Let's go over how much, when, where, and how to track it starting right now. The money's coming back from IRS in the month of June. An example, you had $9,000 of total unemployment assistance. You paid $5,000 in your tax bill, total tax bill to IRS, of which $4,000 was your taxes on the unemployment. Congratulations, you're getting back $4,000. How? To direct deposit, if you had that set up on that 2020 return, otherwise, in the mail. When? The month of June. And can you track it? Yes, about 70% of the time. Go to irs.gov, set up a username and password, go in there, and do a transcript search. 70% of the time it works. And it'll reveal the tax return you filed, the taxes you paid on it, and the refund check you're getting back. Boy, can we get better news than that? We can. And it's the second half of, it's the second part of our three-part update on your fourth stimulus check of 2021 today. Let's go over where we are right now with the fourth stimulus. We're currently in recon, in reconciliation. We have complete democratic alignment to pass it, including Joe Manchin. We have the Democrats in the House, the Democrats in the Senate, and the President all happy and ready and read, ready and willing to give you a monthly stimulus check. We have broadcast media finally talking about your fourth stimulus check day in, day out, with the same letters and the same details covered on this channel. The only people not talking about your fourth stimulus check are the people not giving you one, the GOP and the conservative media. So how did we get to that spot, and what is the other surprising detail? That well, they're currently marking up the bill. Marking up the bill means currently editing drafts of the legislation. Wow, this is exciting. So how do we get to this point? We got to this point the Friday before Memorial Day weekend when Schumer confirmed not one, but three of the details I've been reporting on this channel. Number one, that we're currently under reconciliation. Number two, that we'll finish reconciliation on on or before July 4th, and number three, that it's going to pass by reconciliation. How do we get to that announcement by Schumer? Because of a wonderful letter from Jalapal to Schumer. Now, what's important is not so much the letter, but who signed the letter. Jalapal wrote the letter saying, call the vote to Schumer, but 12 House Democrats signed the letter. They are among the 100-plus House Democrats who had written the president letter weeks earlier saying, Mr. President, when we go to do four stimulus, we're going to put monthly stimulus checks into the four stimulus package. Oh, my goodness. Can we get better than that? We can. When about a week ago, seven House Democrats wrote the president a letter saying, we're going to work with you and we will put monthly stimulus checks into the four stimulus package. Oh, my goodness. So who are these people to say this? They are on the House subcommittee that is solely and exclusively responsible for writing stimulus check legislation in the House. Oh my goodness. So did they write the first stimulus? They did. Did they write the second stimulus check? They did. Did they write the third stimulus check? They did. Now they're saying they're writing the fourth stimulus check and it gets better. Yes. They now also say they're writing the fifth stimulus check this fall in the fifth stimulus package. Oh my goodness. More about that fifth stimulus check in a second. So can we top that? We can. <laughs> and we topped it on Friday. You know, there's a reason that I go into incredible big depth on this channel, because things happen, and I sense that they eventually will snowball and become something wonderful. And that's what happened on Friday. On Friday, the President of the United States signed into law internationally ancillary legislation that anchors forced stimulus over the finish line. 
The ancillary legislation was raising the global minimum corporate tax rate to 15% signed by the leaders of the seven largest countries of the globe, the G7 countries. This is huge. And uh, it anchors forced stimulus over the finish line because now the president doesn't need a lot of other stuff in forced stimulus he would have otherwise have put in there. He doesn't need them anymore. Making forced stimulus now easier to pass because he's put them into this international agreement. Wow, now that is smart. How do we get to that spot? This is where we have to recap it. It goes back to a recent Tuesday where I said something happened on a Tuesday, convoluted, confusing, I need to slow it down. And I'm going to slow it down again right now. Forced stimulus is paid for by raising the U.S. corporate tax rate, a tax rate on U.S. corporations. As soon as the president announced the forced stimulus and announced that, he said he was worried. He was worried that if he raised ta the tax rate on U.S. corporations, that those US, U.S. corporations may try to move operations overseas, such as France, for example. So he had an idea. Rather than have companies race to the bottom for the lowest corporate tax rate around the globe, just get the countries to agree upon a higher global minimum corporate tax rate so that businesses will relocate overseas. The countries agreed tentatively that Tuesday. And then the president reached out to insiders that Tuesday and said, well, if I can get these G7 countries to agree to this in August or September of this year after forced stimulus has passed, then I'll come back and remove stuff from the forced stimulus and make it easier and reduce that corporate tax rate. Wow. Reduce the corporate tax rate closer to where it is right now and multiple symbol checks. That's wonderful. Can we top that? And we did. The Friday, not this last Friday, but the Friday before that, I told you that suddenly I'd heard seen a press clipping buried buried in the news that said the president was going to talk to the G7 countries on a Saturday morning. And I said, I don't know why he's talking to them, but stay with me this Saturday morning. I'll go live on air on Mornings LA and tell you as soon as I hear it. And you heard it with me as well. Live on air last Saturday, a week ago today. The president announcing that he had gotten the G7 countries to agree now before four stimulus, not in August, September, but now to the global minimum corporate tax rate of 15% that the president was gonna go overseas and he did yesterday and signed into law this legislation which anchors forced stimulus over the finish line, removing the necessary provisions of forced stimulus about corporate tax rates because now they're into an international treaty between these seven countries. Wow, this is huge. Suddenly, forced stimulus suddenly became easier to pass because he doesn't need certain provisions of the forced stimulus. He did them by getting the G7 countries to agree to it, making the whole process through the Congress even easier. This was a brilliant move. And that was the major deal signed yesterday. Wow, can we get better than that? And we can. The volunteers. The volunteers are here to help you get help you get that rent, utilities, internet, and food, and SNAP. And they're on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Reach out to them. If you've had problems getting that money yourself, don't worry. Open the description to this video. Go down in the description. Find the volunteers by an emoji of a house and a link to the community page, news.la.com forward slash community. Click that link and it sends you over to the community page with a picture of some kitty cats at the top. The volunteers there are there to help you get that rent, utilities, and mortgage, and internet. Reach out to them and they'll help you right across the board. I'll be back in 60 seconds with you with more exciting details of what's in fourth stimulus, what's still in fifth stimulus, that additional stimulus check in the fall that no one had heard about, and other exciting details coming up in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook Twitter and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m.
LL8 returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LL8 at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Light. And the excitement continues right, right now on Noontime LA, direct from Santa Monica this Saturday noontime. I'm excited for you to join me on this extended broadcast. Yes, it's going to be a little bit longer because there's so much breaking news today. I'll be going over more about the four stimulus in the second half of this video, the pay-fors, the process, what to anticipate next week, the exciting details about the vote, and the surprise details that happened on Friday. Then we'll be turning to fifth stimulus that has that additional stimulus check, the call for the vote, the lifting of your benefits, and the surprise that happened on Thursday about that as well. So subscribe. This is LA, the only 24-hour day, seven days a week financial news channel, live in the morning, taped in the afternoon. Next up is Afternoons LA, Evenings LA, Overnights Crypto. Don't miss a single video across the board by subscribing. Also, like this video, two, 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Let's get right into that fifth stimulus. But first, let's go over three major breaking details about fifth stimulus. Wow. It's just a lot of news. Okay, first one you need to know is that, yes, those seven legislators in the House have now indicated that in the fifth stimulus package in the fall, they're going to put stimulus checks in there as well. Now, your questions have been, when would that happen? Because it sounds like it overlaps. This is my thinking of what their mindset may be. They may be thinking that fourth stimulus runs from t in the year 2021, that fifth stimulus checks would run in the year 2022. Understand the time frame for fifth stimulus. Goes into work on in September, out the door, maybe October, November. So maybe they want the checks not to start in December, but to start in January for fifth stimulus. That would mean fifth stimulus checks are in January of 2022, fourth stimulus checks are the summer. That was one item about fifth stimulus that broke this week. Second, we had a wonderful surprise as the president announced that he's dedicating $1 billion to the benefits system. Now, not for you, but to the administration of the system so that they have newer computers, better staffing, that checks get out to you faster, quicker, like everyone else's checks. This is huge. Remember, if you're on benefits, you qualify for a fourth stimulus check, you qualify for a fifth stimulus check. You also qualify for this big lift of your benefits in the fall. If you also recall what happened in the spring, Third stimulus, it was a mess. My Direct Express by Comerca card has not had the deposit. They haven't gotten the information from the S from Social Security, so they don't know where to send the stimulus checks January, and February, and March of this year. It was a mess. They want to get rid of that. They want to end that just in time before four stimulus checks go out. The president is dedicating $1 billion to reform the system immediately to ramp up our operations in advance uh, in his new budget bill, separate and apart from any stimulus packages in the budget bill. Finally, Thursday. On Thursday, the consumer price index number for the month of May 2021 was released. What is the consumer price index number, CPI? It shows you how much price of goods went up. Well, we all know they went up. I mean, that's sort of obvious. It tracks gasoline, groceries, car sales, food, things like that. So what did it say? When comparing the month of May of this year to the month of May last year, it was the highest growth in 30 years in one 12-month run. Astronomical. So what did Wall Street say about the number? And how does this impact your fifth stimulus? Fifth stimulus has a lift off of your benefits and then applies a benchmark, which is inflation. Well, Analysts on Thursday are now saying that the inflation rate is going to do this in 2021. It's going to have what they call a transitory or temporary spike and then come back down. They call it transitory or temporary, meaning that it's going to spike very high the inflationary rate sometime later this year and then come back down to normal. Well, you clearly want that spike to happen in December or November. Let me show you how this works for fifth stimulus. 
They're going to raise up your benefits under fiscal stimulus one big time. Then they're going to remove the asset limits. Then they're going to apply the inflationary benchmark, which is done every December, November for next year. That's what we're talking about in just a second. Then they're going to remove the income exclusion, remove the marriage penalty. All right, let's go over now the analysis of that, now that you understand why that CPI number was great news for you. First, they're going to raise up your benefits under fiscal stimulus. Who's you? You. So if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, veterans, benefits, survivor benefits, your benefits will be raised up one big time. Got it? Pretty easy. Then they're going to apply the benchmark of inflation. The way a benchmark works is that every December, they look at that number and then they step you up, never step you down, or keep it the same based upon that number. Let's say the inflation rate was 6%. That means that after they raise your benefits up under fist stimulus one time, then they'll step you up in the benchmarks application the first time in December. Raise you up 6%, but not just next year. A lifetime. Because once you apply a benchmark and you raise someone up, you never step them down for benefits. So you'll always be plus 6% a lifetime. If the inflation rate the year after that is December and December 2022, and that, excuse me, if the inflation rate is 1% in December 2022, then you would be plus one, plus 6% that year. That's how the benchmark works. Well, now let's go back to that breaking news from Thursday. If the inflation rate really spikes, you want to really, really hope that the spike happens exactly in November, December, when they apply your benefits. Because that spike is going to be carried forward with you a lifetime because it will raise your benefits up one time and you'll always stay at that level, never step down. This is huge. All right, now let's go to the other items. They're going to remove the asset limit. That asset limit uh, is a 1980s law. It says you can't have more than $3,000 on hand. They're going to get rid of it just in time to get other stimulus checks in your hand. <laughs> They're going to remove the income cap dating back to a 1960s law. It is old. That says you can't stay on benefits and work. It's going to go away. And finally, they're going to remove the marriage penalty, which penalizes you from getting married or penalizes you if you are married. Love is going to win, and you will be able to marry your longtime love interest and not fear loss of benefits. Viewers like Sandy and Rob will be able to marry and not fear a marriage penalty. And there you go. That's your fifth stimulus. But here you need to know is that there's a lot of other items in the fifth stimulus, in the fourth stimulus, and in the third stimulus packages that are money for you, many of which are application-based, meaning it's not automatic. You need to apply for it, and many of which are in the tens of thousands of dollars. How do you find out about them? By becoming a member. Click the link at the top of the chat in the pinned comment. Every day's members of this channel are sent from me, personally written by me, a breakdown of what's in the fifth, fourth, and third stimulus via the community page on YouTube which if you have set up to go to your email account, it goes into your email account. You'll see all the money you're entitled to get under third stimulus and the proposals of fourth and fifth because these are thousands of dollars and a 30-minute video, I don't have time to go through all those details, so consider becoming a member. Which brings us back to fourth stimulus in this extended noontime broadcast this Saturday. Well, fourth stimulus has some other things you need to know about. One, time frame. Two, pushing, and three, false narratives. First, time frame. It's important to know that the time frame is really tight. And the time frame revolves around nine steps to get this to the finish line. Currently, we're in reconciliation. We're going to end reconciliation July 4th. All the Democrats are aligned to pass this, including Joe Manchin. The reconciliation process requires nine steps. The first half are procedural, the second half are substantive. Let's go over them starting right now. Step one, the House subcommittee calls a procedural vote. Step two, the House floor calls a procedural vote. Step four, the House Senate calls a procedural vote. And step five, the president signs a procedural law. At that point, the tow truck is passed over the finish line. Time to get the tow hitch. That's substantive bill. Step six, the House subcommittee writes, as they're doing right now, marking up the bill, and votes on the substantive bill. It's at that point that if the stimulus checks that are in there, they vote on it. Step seven, they, uh, step six, the House floor votes on the substantive bill. Step seven and eight is a two-day voterama in the Senate. During those two days, the senators meet and amend anything that they so wish. 
that they received from the House. So if the House had no stimulus checks in there, the senators can amend and amend and add them in there. If the House did have stimulus checks in there, the senators can leave it alone or they can amend and change the amounts. And step nine, the president signs a substantive bill into law. What's important to know is that the entire process is underway and you need to push, but you also need to avoid any type of fake narratives. And the fake narratives started Friday, and I'm fully warning you that I think next week her fake narratives will continue. And who is it? The protagonist of a, of a canceled telenovela. That protagonist on Friday launched a telenovela that died really ended its run, was canceled by the end of Friday from public access TV. It was so quickly run, but I fully expect, because she's after publicity, that she'll be back Monday or Tuesday, confusing you to think that she's doing something. So let me go over what she's not doing. <laughs> the protagonist, first, does not have any Democrats supporting what she's doing. Second, she does not have the president supporting what she's doing. Third, she doesn't have Chuck Schumer supporting what she's doing. And most importantly, fourth, she is talking to Republicans who are quitting the Congress who don't have the support of Republicans to be meeting with her. On Friday midday, the protagonist, who is Kristen Sinema, Democrat out of Arizona, had her handler sent out a press release saying she had an agreement when she had no agreement. And that quickly brought the Republicans and the Democrats together to agree upon something. That Kristen Sinema had no agreement and was never going to have an agreement because she's talking to people that don't have the authority to be talking on behalf of the parties. In fact, if this makes any more obvious sense, the President of the United States was in, in Europe on Friday to sign that massive legislation covered early in this video about the corporate tax rate to pass for stimulus, to pay for for stimulus. So what did the protagonist do? She went to Republicans to talk about taxing your gasoline to pay for for stimulus. If that sounds any more ridiculous than it is, it is. When the president is not taxing your gasoline to pay for for stimulus, he's taxing U.S. corporations. Oh, <laughs> So here's what you need to know, is I fully believe the protagonist, because the telenovela has ended, will be back next week telling you she's done something when she hasn't. So please discard whatever she says. Remember, Joe Manchin is not part of her telenovela. He never was. And that brings me finally to pushing. I've seen some wonderful comments from viewers on the channel and on Twitter that said, LLA, you need to be a little bit larger in your tough love on the subject. And I think I do. They're saying you need to really come in harder on your tough love. What are they saying? That I'm being a little bit too soft on you and saying you're not pushing hard enough. Uh, that I need to be a little bit stronger and saying you are being a little, some viewers are being too apathetic on the situation. Here's what you need to know is that some of you are doing a superb job of pushing on social media. You're absolutely doing a superb job. You're calling your elected officials as well. You are writing them. You are absolutely pushing like it's 2020. Others of you are doing absolutely nothing and talking about hoping, wishing, uh, praying, wishing, hoping, praying. Don't do that because that will give you absolutely nothing. That is what Donut Guy does. What's important to understand is that these legislators commonly don't come through and you can't rely upon hoping, wishing, praying, crossing fingers. What's at issue? One, legislators have passed laws and not sent out the money that's actually in the law to you. Second, they, they have written bills and never called the bills to a vote. Number three, they pro had proposals and then never made the proposals into a bill. And number four, they've talked about doing things and never even made a proposal. So what you need to do is go on social media and tag your elect officials, hashtag MSE, hashtag Purple Power, call them up, be very pushy. Be very pushy because now is the time to push. I didn't ask you to push in May. I didn't ask you to push in April. Now is the time to push. July is not the time to push because at July, we're almost done. At July, they've almost made their determination. Yes, you'll push during the two-day voterama, but you need to push now when they're writing the legislation because you want them to put it in the legislation. You don't want to do catch up when the Votorama happens in the last 48 hours and you push, push, push with the senators. You want to be pushing now so it snowballs and it overwhelms the situation so they understand 
hashtag MSC, hashtag Purple Power. So take these videos, tag the elected officials on social media, call them up. Never take anything for granted. To recap, reconciliation continues this process next week. The reconciliation process is a nine-step process. The nine-step process has the support of the Democratic leadership in the House and Senate and the President. It also has the coverage of the broadcast media. The only people not talking about your stimulus checks are people not giving you stimulus checks. And ultimately, you need to push because this is the big opportunity. This is the big opportunity to get it to the finish line. And with that, I look forward to seeing you next on Afternoons LA and evenings LA and overnights crypto and evenings crypto today. Programming will be slightly out of order potentially today because of that power outage. But with, thank you for joining me on a big noontime show this Saturday. Make sure you subscribe, 400,000 subscribers on YouTube record. Like this video, two, 3,000 likes and consider becoming a member. Keep on pushing, stay informed, stay focused and stay with LA for more.